welcome back to the channel and today a book haul uh, my summer book haul so I have another dozen books that I've bought recently at the moment I'm still buying more books than I'm reading I think that's going to continue for about another year and a half to two years until I really have um, a 10 year backlog which is what I'm really aiming for there's a reason for that it'll come in later in the year um, so let's get started with an author that I covered in a previous um, book haul so I previously covered Virginia Woolf on here uh, I picked up a little book that gave a bit of background about the author and since then I've picked up a couple of her novels. The first one here, uh, A Room of One's Own and I've got another one here, To the Lighthouse. Now these are the um, Macmillan uh, editions, they're little hardbacks um, that raise money for uh, cancer charity uh, over here in the UK. I'm not sure how if they're international or not um, but they have these lovely little um, hardbacks and these are quite short um, you know 150 to 200 pages so they make these nice little pocket hardbacks out of them um, and it is an, an author that I'm really looking to read in the next couple of years so I thought I would pick these up they're nice and cheap a couple of pounds a piece um, and add them to the collection how about some brand new books um, some paperbacks so I like to try to um, you know support authors where I can uh, an author I really like a series I really like I like to go out and also support uh, retailers. Um, I managed to find um, The Shadow of the Gods for a really good price. I think this is about three or four pounds off of the uh, RRP. It was brand new. Um, I am reading at the moment um, The Faithful and the Fallen, so it will be a while until I get to these, but I thought, you know, good price. Let's get this one in now. Uh, and the other one was Robin Hobb. Um, the next book I need to read in uh, Live Ship Traders is The Mad Ship. Um, I actually paid almost full price for this one, um, but I wanted to go out into town and you know s s support a book sh uh, shop. Uh, there was one uh, reasonably locally that I knew of that would probably have this, and sure enough, like, this is a mammoth book. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's very pretty as well, so I'm glad to have it. Next up is a real bargain. So I'm not really massively into like illustrated editions and, and what have you, but someone online was getting rid of um, The Last Wish which is the first Witcher book, the illustrated edition, for just five pounds, which is, you know, about $7 or $7.50, somewhere around there. And as you can tell, it's beautifully illustrated. Um, look at these lovely images throughout. It's, it's a fantastic little book. It's got lovely end papers. Um, and I think if you can find a copy for this kind of price, it's probably worth picking up. It is a high quality book anyway. Um, next, a sequel that I did not know existed. So, Gone with the Wind is a book a lot of people have heard of, but Scarlet is a sequel to Gone with the Wind, written by another author. And I found this giant paperback here. It was only like a pound fifty, so I thought I'd pick it up um, in case I ever wanted to read the sequel to Gone with the Wind. Next, uh, an author I love, Bernard Cornwell. I own a paperback copy, of what I would call a reading copy of this book already, but I saw it for two pounds, I believe, in hardback form. So I picked up The Winter King. Now, this was an early uh, printing of the of the hardback and uh, it was in really good condition. So I picked that up for just a couple of pounds. Next, another book I have in paperback, a reading copy, if you will, is The Pillars of Earth by Ken Follett. And I saw this really old, um, it's not in the best condition to be honest like it does have some um, marking um, on the edges and some scuffing um, but again it, I think it was like uh, 199 or something so I picked up this big huge hardback copy as well because it was nice and cheap one author I won't be getting to anytime soon unfortunately um, and they have lots and lots of books out um, is Jenny Wirtz and I found this one here this is the way uh, that way lies Camelot um, it looks like an Arthurian uh, retelling. It looks like it's part of a series. Um, it was, I think it was two pounds or two pounds fifty, um, so about three three dollars. Um, and it wasn't in bad condition, so I thought I'd pick that up as well. Um, I already have a few of her books. Um, it's going to take me a while to kind of build up those series because there are so many books um, that she has released. Um, I really enjoy um, the Everyman's Library uh, Library editions. I feel like they're very clean aesthetically. Um, I like the fonts, uh, I really appreciate the little ribbons and the covers, how they all match on the shelf. And I was been, been looking for a um, good copy of The Tale of Genji uh, for a while and the Everyman's edition, um, it went on sale, I think it was on Amazon and you know it was a few pounds off, um, so I think I got it for about nine, ten pounds. 
um, and this is a really you know handsome little uh, addition um, so I'm really really happy to have that because it is one that I am looking to read in the next few years not as soon as this next book I've, I've been looking for a good copy of this book for so long but it gets so expensive um, The Phantom of the Opera by Gaston Leroux um, is a book that I've wanted to read for the longest time I've been trying to get a photocopy but it's too expensive so I picked this copy up because it was like four pounds um, and so yeah I'll be getting to this very very shortly maybe next year maybe the year after um, but I can't wait to read that book and then finally one last one another huge chunker this is Musashi um, this is a book again that I've been trying to buy for a long time but it's very very expensive so just wait for it to go into Amazon sale really and uh, I managed to pick this up for about 12 pounds um, yeah hard copy of Musashi about a thousand pages long so I'm glad to have that one too so that was my summer book haul, a few books off the bucket list there, and a few good deals as well. About a dozen books in total. So my my book buying is definitely slowing down, but it, you know it's still going to outstrip my reading for now. Um, let me know any books that you're looking to pick up this summer and why. You know, is it on your bucket list or did you find a great price? Just pop it down in the comments below and we'll have a little chat. Cheers.